instance, and we made partnerships with some of them, them actually. And this is what brought me, brought me here today to be a leader, to be a part of this conference. So I want to say to all ladies, young ladies and women, dare to be yourself. So I'm 17 years old and now I'm studying fashion design at Vocational High School of Clothing and Design at 11th grade. Last year I was part of ABLE Mentor, which is a program that students connect with professionals from different fields from the business and for the period of three months I created my business uh, which is based on um, designing and selling clothes with Bulgarian motifs and one day my mentor Gergana Granchvarva told me uh, that there, about this competition Entropic Girl and she encouraged me to apply for it. We discussed the application form, I filled it and I applied and I was really happy when I understood I was among the shortlisted girls who have to present their ideas in front of business experts. I was really nervous like I am right now, but it was really helpful, the presentation and the whole day was really helpful for me because I understand a lot of things and they give me really good advices and really and they really helped me understand some things that I, I didn't know before. And they sent me and showed me res um, support and respect of my work. And I'm really happy about that. <laughs> Thank you. So um, actually, Entropy Girl also opened a lot of doors for me. Like today, I'm here and talking in front of you, so inspiring people. Thank you. Um, also, one of my biggest dreams, which I'm trying to make it real is to be a successful fashion designer to show collections to New York Fashion Week or Paris Fashion Week, but step by step. And so I'm going to invite all of you to my first fashion show will be held in June. And I'll be really happy to see all of you. And last but not least, um, I'm going to say that an entrepreneur girl gave me really good contacts and really good friends and inspiration for keep going with what I'm doing. So thank you. My participation in the co uh, competition was very inspiring. As I mentioned before, I, co um, I entered the competition two years ago. My motivation for entering this particular competition was the opportunity to um, be part of uh, such an interesting event with the opportunity to meet so many people with interesting ideas, various projects, and uh, also to uh, share my ideas in the IT field. I strongly believe that Entrepreneur Girl uh, gives strength and um, I believe that uh, it uh, gave me a lot uh, in my professional career. Um, what has changed for me uh, in these two years since my um, participation? Um, it, it's actually a lot for me because uh, uh, I uh, fulfilled uh, one of my dreams to have my own uh, business uh, with my, my university colleague, Yavor Atanasov. Uh, we set up a company named AB Studio, uh, with, uh, which is mainly engaged in the field of advertising, web development, and uh, graphic design. Uh, so uh, I wish to uh, encourage all the future entrepreneurs uh, to never give up and to have faith in their projects and their, their ideas. Uh, because they could be very valuable for the community and um, as a whole, ladies could be uh, a significant role in the digital world. Thank you. Thank you, ladies, and good luck with your entrepreneurial endeavors. Um, we are going, we're getting closer to the finish line, pretty close. Uh, but before that, uh, you remember that I mentioned that if you stay until the end, you have a special present from the Initiative for Social Empowerment. 
Now, I want to tell you more about the initiative of so for social empowerment and tell you what the, pres the present is. So, the initiative for social empowerment is an international social enterprise that aims to enable social, uh, which aims to enable vulnerable groups of women and youth in Europe to break out of the bondage of poverty through technology, education, and entrepreneurship. Their cause is to integrate and socially include Roma communities, refugees, people victims if, of trafficking, people with disabilities, or women victims of domestic violence through labor. So, they are trained to, to sew, embroider, cast candles, grow and harvest herbs. Um, the presents that they've prepared for you are handmade and are these wonderful aroma dolls. And each and every one of you would get one on your way out of the room, of the conference hall. So I'm putting this as an example, as an example here. And before officially finishing, uh, I would like to invite Sasha Bezukhanova again to the stage for her to give final remarks. Ladies and gentlemen, I think uh, we had a good event today. And um, for this, uh, I really want to thank uh, first for the great speakers, for people that flew from all over Europe, from all over the world, from 15 countries, uh, to be part of uh, this event. I want to thank online of, uh, lots of international media that have been following, tweeting, uh, also broadcasting uh, the conference today. Use this opportunity again to express our regret to more than 200 people that uh, registered and were not able to physically be part of the, uh, our gathering today because of the restrictions, accreditations, and uh, uh, special, uh, special rules of uh, uh, this space that is the home of the uh, presidency Bulgaria and um, at the end I want really to thank to the team we spent a day uh, here but behind this is three hour three months of a very very big uh, work and uh, I want to ask the whole team or who is here uh, to join me on the stage. <laughs> These are Pavlina and uh, Evelina, Dani, Ruri, <laughs> give applause for uh, these uh, ladies and uh, some men. Uh, they bought danchos, they uh, put together the videos, they are uh, preparing the streaming. We had also some great volunteers, uh, you see them on the website. Uh, in the whole correspondence, they are called the Muses. So Muses, please join us also. You've been doing a great uh, job in putting this event together. And, and uh, that's a moment uh, for uh, a group picture. <laughs> it was not uh, uh, in this scenario, but uh, you all are invited uh, to make and to share it with us afterwards. Uh, so, and um, what we've decided with the team, because you saw the next generation I won't go through the logic of the program today. I'm sure everybody who was during the whole day uh, uh, understood where we uh, started from and where we ended. And uh, the end uh, with uh, these three of the 200 entrepreneurs that uh, followed the program and uh, that made a step uh, to participate in the project uh, was just the message that uh, this is the next generation of uh, female entrepreneurs that uh, we want to give the stage on to support them. And uh, I personally believe that they are the one 
that are changing uh, already the statistics. So what I finally want to announce is that uh, we've decided to make Entrepreneur an international competition. So next edition will be in September. <laughs> we'll need uh, the support of uh, all of you to broadcast it uh, in the region. We'll start on the Bokane region, where we also uh, have uh, uh, very, very good uh, uh, contacts, and uh, there are some uh, uh, great initiatives around uh, uh, women in tech, so they will be our correspondents. But please uh, feel free uh, to uh, support this project, as also, of course, the European coalition that we started. With this, uh, I want uh, uh, to thank uh, you again and, uh, of course, uh, uh, to put a formal close of, the, uh, of the today's conference. And uh, now you will have a chance to see the whole long video with the 10 uh, ladies uh, that uh, we had it. I don't know if it is. Yeah. Okay, that's it. See the video and uh, this is the end. There is one thing that differs Bulgaria's digital economy significantly. Almost one third of the IT specialists and nearly half of the IT students in Bulgaria are women. Meet the role models of Europe's feminine IT hub. I'm Eva. There is one thing that differs Bulgaria's digital economy significantly. Almost one third of the IT specialists and nearly half of the IT students in Bulgaria are women. Meet the role models of Europe's feminine IT hub. I am Eva, and I'm the founder and CEO of Human in the Loop, a digital startup with a social mission. I'm also a human rights activist and a linguist. I really want to see more women around me because I believe that they're the ones who can genuinely combine a strong social impact with a business mission. I am Romiana. I'm the managing director of SAP in Southeast Europe a cluster of 10 countries. I am a mother of three kids and I'm also an active supporter of the education in Bulgaria. That is why I'm sitting on the board of trustees of my alma mater, American University in Bulgaria. I believe that women have a very special place in the future of technology because any successful company of the future will need to be purpose-led. A woman can create a purpose-led environment. I'm Petya, I'm web designer and founder of Apartment 19. Last year I attended Entrepreneur Contest, which gave me confidence in business world. I believe women presence in IT sector is extremely important because we need to see more female models, young women like me can follow. I'm Svetla Simicheva and I build artificial intelligence products for talent acquisition. I'm an extremely curious person. I'm curious about science, about technology, about art, about just everything. I do want to see more women in tech because we build products with practicality and common sense. And if I may say, we're a little bit less ego. I am Rosica, founder and CEO of Roses Mark. Our business is about food from roses. And as a brand manager, I'm taking care of building a strong online presence for Roses Mark. That helped us uh, being one of the Google ambassadors for Bulgaria. I'm also a dancer and I believe that uh, women in digital are so important because we can naturally add an emotional, more sensitive touch to the storytelling. I'm Pavlina and I'm Program Director at HyperAspect, a young Bulgarian IT product company which operates on four different continents. Also, I'm a wife, a mother and I teach my daughter that she can achieve anything. I believe women are a driving force and the soft power is a must-have in the IT industry. Women have the right mindset to turn companies into families. I'm Nina. I am founder and general manager of NDB, the main distributor of IBM software, IBM hardware, VMware, Veeam, Red Hat and Citrix. I have more than 25 years experience in IT field with multinational vendors. At the same time, I'm mother, wife and very enthusiastic tennis player. 
I believe in women's creativity and gentleness. I believe that girls' approach is helping to refocus the business from technology-centric to people-centric. My name is Jeanette, I'm a product manager at Paysafe, a co-director at the Founder Institute, and I also own a bar for software developers. Nowadays, successful software companies are actually those who realize that there are two types of products they need to build. One of their products is for their customers, the other product they need to build is for their employees. This product for employees is actually called company culture. I believe women are the ones who can make the magic happen. I'm Sasha and I'm the founder of MoveBG, Think and Do Tank for social impact via innovation and collaboration. I'm also an angel investor. And on a private side, I'm happily married 30 years now and have a daughter who is digital entrepreneur in the field of sustainability. We live in a time of fundamental transformation because of the global digital connectedness and the lost balance between human and nature. Time when sharing is replacing competition and more and more people are collaborating for achieving decent and sustainable life for all in the digital era. Women are to play a key role in driving this transition to a new equilibrium in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't need this anymore. One last time, I would like to thank before you, uh, the people who supported this conference, the companies, the organizations, the nonprofits, and everyone standing behind it, quick round of applause for them. <laughs> and then I would like to thank you for being here today, for supporting the event, and for staying until the end, and for smiling so nicely at me, at all of the speakers throughout the whole time, throughout my whole mistakes, throughout their mistakes and so on. So I want to wish an incredible, incredible evening for you and see you hopefully next year. Thank you.